the question is following balances are taken from the books of mr niranjan you are required to prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet for the year ended 31st march 2016 here prepare in the books of mr niranjan trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 and draw the ledger format of trading account and after drawing the account we have the first adjustment closing stock rupees 75000 which is a trading account item it will be shown in the credit side of a trading account and as well as an current asset as a current asset and adjustment 3 tells us which is rupees 5000 outstanding it will be added to the ojs in the trading account first of all we will finish these two adjustments and we will now proceed to then proceed to profit and loss account at that time we will discuss the other adjustments while doing the questions now first one being by sales rupees 4 lakh 35000 less sales return that is rupees 7000 which is in the final column it will be rupees 4 lakh 28000 and closing stock in the adjustment is given rupees 75000 and this is a current asset also being an adjustment it will be shown twice once in trading account accounts credit side and the other one as a current asset in the balance sheet next one is the in the debit side we will have this to opening stock rupees 45000 to purchases uh, rupees 295000 less returns purchases return rupees 2000 rupees 4000 in the final column we will have rupees 291000 as the net purchases and next one is our factory expenses that is to wages rupees 40000 and we have one outstanding wages given to us that is the third adjustment rupees 5000 this is a liability this will increase the amount of wages add outstanding wages rupees 5000 in the final column we have 45000 in the trading accounts debit side this outstanding wages is a liability and but and it is also a current liability and it will be shown under the head current liabilities as outstanding wages now credit side totaling is rupees 5 lakh 3000 write down in the debit side to find out to gross profit carried carried down or the difference to gross profit carried down rupees one lakh twenty two thousand. Then our profit and loss account by gross profit brought down one lakh twenty two thousand. Then all our incomes by miscellaneous receipts rupees twelve hundred given in the credit side credit column. Next one is our this is our income business income miscellaneous business income by accrued interest on investment if i can explain you 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 have to see this the adjustment number five investments were made on first july 2015 that means and no interest has been received so far our year ending is 31st march and we are receiving we are investing in july 1 july to march this is complete nine months nine months and uh, the interest accrued on that we have not received a single payage interest and the interest accrued will be for nine months hence by accrued interest on investments we will be getting it we have not got it it is due to be received we have not received it the investment is for rupees fifty thousand and the rate of interest being six percent as it is given in the trial balance you can easily see 6% investment of 50,000 and the months for which we have not received investment is 9 by 12 9 months it is from once more it is from July 1 2015 till today that is 31st March 2016 the date we are preparing the balance sheet today means the date when we are preparing the balance sheet that is rupees 2250 this is accrued interest and it is a current asset it will be shown in the balance sheets asset side because an adjustment will be treated twice well, shown twice 
and the next one being to insurance that is rupees 1500 being our expenditure to rent rupees 5000 to salary rupees 24000 and see adjustment number 2 salary is rupees 2000 outstanding that is to salary rupees 26 24000 we have already paid and we have not paid 2000 that is add outstanding salaries that is rupees 2000 the final payment for salaries should be rupees 26000 and the total amount of expenditure will be this next one being to depreciation on there are two depreciation depreciation machinery 10 percent furniture 20 percent hence machinery plant and machinery given in the book rupees 24000 10 percent that is rupees 2400 then furniture rupees 1500 at the rate of 20 percent that is rupees 300 total amount of depreciation will be rupees 2700 in the final column next one will be to VAT date rupees 1000 being the expenditure then to add further VAT date VAT date we have to add add further VAT date VAT date this 1000 rupees VAT date is given in the trial balance debit side and adjustment number 4 right of 500 as a bad debt this is further bad debt and and read that adjustment for and create five percent provision for doubtful debts five percent provision that means out of the total debtors given to us in the book we have to that is forty thousand we have to deduct 500 out of that Hence, uh, this further bad debt will be deducted from that uh, 40,000 to get the new provision for bad debt that is like this add new provision for bad debts rupees 40,000 is the total debtors minus further bad debt in the adjustment that is 500 and this is 39,500 into 5% into 5% of that this 39,500 which will be rupees 1975 and the final amount in the final column will be we should not be it will be in the inner column it will be rupees 3475 because there is one more adjustment and you can read this question again it is written bad debt reserve second the third last line in the heads of accounts that is uh, 800 this is the old provision provision created in the last year that is 800 rupees that will be deducted out of that we can say that is old provision or less bad debt reserve of last year that is rupees 800 after deducting this we can show in the final column rupees 2675 next we can proceed that is to advertisement expenses 6000 rupees to trade expenses rupees 2000 to next one being to reserve for discount and debtors very important point and you can read this in the question adjustment number same line adjustment number four reserve for discount and debtors two percent remember after this forty thousand was the debtors less five hundred for the bad debt less new provision one nine seven five these are the good debtors who are supposed to pay us and they may claim for a two percent discount we can uh, keep a reserve for discount and debtors on this final amount out of 40,000, 400 went bad, sorry, 500 went bad, and 1975 we kept as a reserve for bad debt at 5%. And whatever remaining is there, they are the good debtors, they will be paying us, they will be claiming discount of 2%, that is rupees 751. Then credit side totaling will be 1,25,450. Take it to the debit side, deduct all expenses, and find out. To net profit carried down rupees 78,824. Then come down to the balance sheet. That is balance sheet as at 31st March 2016. Your current assets. Cash rupees 12,200. Debtors rupees 40,000. Less further added 500. Whatever will be left out that is 39,500 rupees less new provision for bad debt on this amount that is rupees 39,500 into 5 percent that is rupees 1975 and whatever is there write down in the inside column not in the final column 
for a further calculation that is rupees 37,525. On this 2% provision will be for a discount that is just like this. Less reserve for discount on debtors rupees 37,525 into 2% that is rupees 751 which in the final column will be rupees 36,774. Now accrued interest on investment we have already calculated in the credit side of profit and loss account for 9 months that is rupees 2250 adjustment. Next one is closing stock being an adjustment rupees 75,000. Next one is fixed assets under this plant and machinery rupees 24,000. Less depreciation 10% 2400 in the final column rupees 21600 then furniture rupees 1500 less depreciation as per adjustment 20% that is 300 in the final column rupees 1200 then investment 6% investments rupees 50000 then patents patents is a production formula that is rupees 4800 that is an also asset now the totaling is rupees 2,3824 now liability side current liabilities sundry creditors rupees 19,000 salaries outstanding being adjustment outstanding salaries rupees 2,000 wages outstanding rupees 5,000 Long term liabilities and capital, capital rupees 1,20,000, less drawings rupees 21,000, add net profit rupees 78,824, in the final column rupees 1,77,824. Then totaling of the liability side 2,3,824 rupees. And this is the final answer.